Hi, this is David with David's Tutorials, and in today's video, I'm going to show you something that everybody who uses Microsoft Word needs to know. How to create horizontal divider lines. This has been so handy for me, you're probably going to want to share this with anybody else you know that uses Microsoft Word because it comes in so handy. Many, if not most, users of Microsoft Word already know that if you type three dashes and then press Enter, you're going to get a horizontal divider line. What I'm going to show you in this video is several other ways to create different styles of these divider lines and how you can control the width of them. For those that don't know this already, if you press enter and then you type three dashes and press enter again, it creates a horizontal divider line in your document. When you do this, Word automatically adds a single line bottom border to the line above where you put the divider line. We can see that this is a border by going to the Home tab, the Paragraphs group, then drop down the Borders icon and select Borders and Shading. The diagram on the right side of the dialog box will show the borders that already exist at the location where your cursor was when you opened the dialog. If we do this on the line below the one on which we put the border, we can see that the line below that line has no border. These horizontal lines extend the full width of the page from left margin to right margin unless you have set an indent. You can move the left and right ends of these lines by setting an indent. The easiest way to do this is on the ruler. If your ruler is not already on, you can find it in the View tab in the Show group. Click Rulers. Then drag the indent markers to the place you want the ends of the line to be. You can drag the right end of the line with the right indent. You can drag the left end of the line with the left indent. It's pretty easy to do this with the three dashes and get a single line. But now let me show you the other cool styles that Word has available for these horizontal divider lines. Use the underline key three times on a new line, press enter, you will get a bold divider line. If you use the equal sign, you will get a double divider line. Use the tilde key, this is the key right over next to your escape key. This will give you a zigzag divider line. If you use the pound sign or the hashtag key or what musicians might call the sharp sign, that will give you a triple line with a fat middle line. If you type three asterisks and press enter, that will give you a line of square dots. Sure, you could add these lines manually by using the borders functionality of Word, but it's just so much easier and quicker to add them using these shortcuts. I use these divider lines a lot. They really help divide my document visually into sections so that people can tell one section from another with just a visual divider line. And since I found the different styles of these lines, I've used these a lot as well. If you can see how useful these divider lines are, please share this video. Use the sharing button down below with other people or put it up on your social media page or send it in an email to other people. That way other people will be able to use these divider lines and have fun with them just as you do and I do. If you thought this was a helpful video, please give us a thumbs up so the YouTube robots will know you thought it was helpful and they'll recommend it to other people and it'll also help me understand that you thought it was helpful as well and encourage me to make more videos. Also, if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much. I appreciate every single one of you. And if you're not a subscriber, why not go ahead right now and click that subscribe button and then the bell icon and YouTube will remind you by email whenever we post another great tutorial right here on David's Tutorials. 